Salam, salam. This is Unity, and I'm here to do a DIY. You could paint the back of your um hand painted earrings. One of the the number one things is, which I'm not going to show in this video, is you can put the same exact thing that you put on the front on the back. To all the people that make these DIYs that I'm showing y'all and y'all making money off of, if you do that, make sure you charge a lot. Because some people, they don't like when the earring turn and all that. So they want the same thing on the front, on the back. I did a DIY for this. If you're part of my membership, then you got a DIY. If not, it'll be a couple of months before you get this DIY. But if, you look, if you're looking at this video in the future... It should already be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, if you just don't want to have your back in a solid color, like you could do it in, like right now, this is the front, and then in the back, you might want to just, some people might want to keep your back, sign it, work, and keep moving. You're done. Or, but I like the way this wood, you see how the way this wood did? It literally made a design on its own because the paint ingrained in there. So I think that's cool the way it done that. But yeah, you can make it solid. You can make it any color. You could take some of the colors from the front and you can put on the back. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put, the, usually the DIY pair that I make usually be the pair that I keep. So I'm just going to show y'all two different ways um, how you can do your back just to make it look really artsy. So this is a feather brush. So I just take the feather brush. This is one way. And I just take some of the paint off. And I just do like this. So, I'm going to put it probably three ways. Maybe I'll do four. Something dripped. We'll keep that drip right there. Take some of this blue metallic paint. I'm just using like random colors. Even though orange and blue is on the front. I'm just going to do like that. That. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do one more color. You can overlap it, let that dry and overlap it. It's just a little way that you can do the back of your earrings. I'm just gonna use this right here. It's called Purple Flash. Just put it there. Put it there. So I'm doing this wet, y'all. So y'all can let these dry and do it. And then that's it. So that's a little quick little way for you to do your back. And I use metallic. Maybe a metallic paints for up that orange is not a metallic. metallic. I'm just going to keep the dot there. It fell, so I'm going to keep it there. So that's just one way. Here go another way of how you can do the back of your earrings. I have a video to show you how to finger paint. So I put that in the description box. Y'all can check that video out. But this is just another simple way of just how do your back cute. If you don't want to do the finger paint, if you don't want to paint what's on the front to the back, you could do splattered paint. I have a video to show that. That was years ago when I did that video, but I put that in the link. You could put that on the back. Some of the DIYs I done did, you can take them and put it on the back. So with this, this is just a simple way. We're just going to put some lines. And you can do this on the front too. Okay, so I used the orange. So now I'm going to use, I'm using the same colors that I used on that one. Just making some lines. You could do lines, you can do circles, you could do zigzag. Art is art, so. You know, people get, you know, they be thinking too hard. It's not hard to come up with a design. So we got 
We did that. And then we're going to take. And then we could just. We could cross the lines. Should you wait if this paint dry? Could. Or just keep moving. Just cross them. And to be honest with you, I never did this on the back of no earrings. This right here, I done did something similar to this one on the back of earrings, but I never did this. This is just something I'm coming up with. And just to give y'all some, some ideas of what to paint on the back of y'all and paint the earrings. You see that? So oh, them two little ways you can do it but what I'm gonna do is take the black I want to add a little more black to that so I'm getting a feather brush and I'm gonna dip it in this black I think they call this the feather brush so I'm gonna take some of that off and just lay that right there I just wanna You, this could be layered too, y'all. Because while I'm doing, doing this, I'm going to add some. I think I added some glitter. So I did this. I'm going to do this dry. I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to it. And then I sign it. And the back is done. So these are just, it's many ways you can paint your back. But I just wanted to show y'all this. In the future, I might add a couple more things on how to paint the back of the earrings, which. This could be the front of the earrings too. <laughs> this could be a whole design. This could be a pair right here. This, or you could make two pair with that on it. So these are just some, some quick little ways of how to paint the back of your earrings. All right, so when I come back, I'll show y'all, I'm gonna add some glitter. So on family, I'm inserting this clip because I wanted to show y'all the, the fan brush. I kept saying feather brush. And the reason why I kept saying feather brush because growing up, my dad was a painter and he, I remember he used to do this design with a feather. And matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all that. I'm going to show y'all that design. But he mainly dipped the feather in paint and then laid it on. So that's why I kept saying feather, but it's a fan brush. So I was working on an order, and I wanted to show y'all how I did this with the fan brush. And this is the front. These are on the website. So I'm going to add a little pink. I don't have to add a little pink. I might don't. I might don't. I'm going to keep it like this. Mm, I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all this, how I did this with the fan brush. I might. I added the pink. Okay, fam, so I'm back and I put a little glitter on there. I don't know if y'all can see. I put a little black glitter. Just a little glitter just to give it a little oomph in the back. This will look really good, too. And remember that dot, it fell, so I kept it there. This this could be a front of, like I say, both of these can be some, a front of some earrings. Don't forget to pick up litter in your community. Respect those that respect you. Donate to this channel, y'all. Thank all the ones that has donated. The PayPal is across the screen. Catch up is across the screen. It's also a super thanks button with a heart on it. Y'all can click that and support this channel so I can keep creating more dope tips like this for y'all. Adopt a pet from your local rescue or shelter. Or sometimes if you look on Craigslist or something like that, like Craigslist, or people just give pets away for free for different circumstances. So, salam, salam.